I don't want to give away the end of the book, but one of the, the images you use at the end of the book, it reminded me of something I read in another book, um, uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor oh, yeah. Frankl. Yep, one of my So in, in that book, he talks about um, obviously meaning, but he, he says that life is like a movie and that it's lots of small images and you will not figure out the meaning of the movie or of life until you get to the very end. If you skip mm. right to the end of the movie, right to the end of life, you're not going to know what the meaning is. I actually, um, that small tattoo there, it's a little oh, old great. style yeah. camera. That's what that was symbolizing. I love it. Um, that's great. Yeah. So I think that's something that people can maybe take um, some sort of hope from in that when I think that's another thing that's related to addiction as well is that people are struggling to find meaning. Um, mm -hmm. And the answer, which is in, the, in that book, the answer is there is no meaning to life. You're not going to find something that's universal and meaning to life. Um, but yeah, is that, do you think that's a similar image to what you were portraying in the book? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess my, I, I think it is possible to find meaning, um, mm -hmm. but we don't, we don't find it with the grand pronouncements. We find it Mm -hmm. by living each day according to our values and, and making meaning, you know, in an iterative way every single day through time while not knowing exactly where it's going to lead, but trusting in the process. Um, and so I, I think that's really, you know, it's one of the key messages that, I, again, I've learned from uh, my life, but also my patients in recovery, this idea of taking it one day at a time. Because if you stack on a bunch of good days, you get a bunch of good weeks and good weeks lead to good months and good months lead to good years. And we can't know exactly where it's all going, but we can, the things that we can control here, uh, you know, in now is, is, um, and I guess I, I do believe it's, I'm curious about your not believing in free will. I'm sure it has to do with like all the antecedents that led up to this particular moment, um, us not controlling that, but Nonetheless, um, I actually do think that there is that moment of choice um, that we all have throughout our lived time. And that, as I say in the book, and something one of my very wise patients told me that one of the things that he learned from recovery from addiction is that the hard way is usually the right way. And I love that because sometimes when I'm stuck, not knowing what to do, or I have a choice, and I'm not, not sure which way to go. I think about that. Well, what's, what's the hard way? What, what's the path that would be more effortful for me? And I think that that's probably um, the path I should take. That's probably the right path. So I guess it's those, those kinds of messages. Yeah.